family. Welcome. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our conversation on tones and pitches. Welcome to CVP Coaching. I'm voice coach Lisa Marie, where we sing it like we mean it. So today we're going to expand on the topic of pitches and tones. There's so much to cover and to understand. I want to make sure that you um, are really grasping this concept of pitches and tones. Really specifically, I should say more so of tones because we want to, I want to make sure I'm glancing at my notes so that I can stay on, on task with you. I don't want to waste your time and make sure that I, I just get right to my points here. I want to make sure that you specifically know the difference between different tones. When have you changed tones? When should you change tones? I want you to have access to all of your tonal range so that you'll be able to moment by moment shift throughout different tones. Have you ever heard when we talk about artists and we say, man, she has so much color in her voice. Uh, Whitney had so much texture in her voice, right? We've all heard these phrases. This is how it's created. It's created with tones. So we're really going to get into that in depth today, okay? So again, I'm voice coach Lisa Marie, and I transform passionate singers into skilled, authentic, engaging performers. My clients include, uh, they range in age, everything from school age all the way up to their 60s. I have clients who say that their goal is to just sing better in the shower. Some of them are karaoke singers and they just want to sing for their friends. Some of my clients are choir members, dedicated choir members, worship leaders, worship team members, and then of course recording artists as well who uh, would like to do this for a living and some of them are already doing this and out and we're on tour, hopefully still are, not sure how many are able to do that now with this uh, coronavirus hitting everybody the way that it is. Lisa Kelly, oh my goodness, so great to see you. Anna, as always, so great to see you. Okay, so before we begin, I want to make sure that you are always getting the most out of every session. So hopefully by now you know that you need to have some water handy that you need to have enough room around you, especially today. You're gonna to need wiggle room today. We are definitely going to be jumping right in and we're gonna be using our whole body to do uh, some really fun stuff because we're gonna need that to be able to get into these tones. Just initially, you won't have to do it on stage, um, but just so you can tap into them. Some people just aren't even sure how to tap into those tones. So we're gonna use our whole body. So you're gonna need some wiggle room, okay? You're also gonna to wanna to be in a place, in a space, in a room, uh, where you can make some noise. And right now, for those people who are watching right now during this season, that shouldn't be that hard since we're all doing physical distancing. That shouldn't be difficult to be able to find a place where um, no one's gonna bother you and hopefully they won't mind that you're making all this noise, okay? So I really hope that you're gonna join in. I'm gonna start with some water. If you have your water handy, hopefully you do, you'll get some as well. I'm trying a slightly different angle in the room here to see if maybe I can <laughs> see my notes a little bit uh, so that I can stay on target with you. Okay, so we are always gonna start in the same place. So the first thing we're gonna do, as I said, you need to make sure, hey Billy, welcome. We're gonna make sure that we can take in that nice big breath. We breathe in air and we exhale voice. We're gonna go right to that, okay? Remember, we use our arms up to our shoulders. So let's do that now, we'll do it twice. Ha! Okay, you just want to release that air. All right, let's go ahead and do that again. Ha! Okay, we're going to do that just one more time. Make sure that you keep your knees a little bit bent, okay? I want you really taking that big breath. If your arms get there and you're not done breathing in, stay there and continue to fill up. Because if you remember from our first session on breathing back on Friday of last week, we talked about our air tank. Show me your air tank for those of you who remember and who are studying your videos. Okay, your air tank, we want to maintain it between 80 and 100% full at all times. Okay, yes, very good. We want to do that with a starter breath at the beginning of our phrase. And so let's take that breath one more time. Ha! Excellent. Doesn't that feel great? Now, remember, we do not breathe through our nose when we sing. That's just so we can remind ourselves of how much air we can take in because we can take in a lot of air. And when we take in the right amount of air, we put that air behind our voice. We breathe in air. We exhale voice. We're able to release our voice when we sing. We never have to push it out. It just comes out nice and loud. 
okay? You'll be like me, you'll be one of the louder people in the choir that the choir director's always having to say, hey, can you back off a little bit? You're, you're too loud, okay? I know, I definitely am one who struggles with blending. Anybody else, I'm not really sure, but I definitely am one who are always saying, you just don't blend well, so go, go sit in the back and we'll still hear you. All right, so uh, first we're just gonna do a little bit of warming up, not because we really need to warm up our voice, but because we need to send those signals to the brain that this is what we're doing right now. We're going into some singing mode, okay? All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna breathe in air, exhale voice, we're just gonna go one note, okay? We're just gonna go, Ah, uh, with me. Ah, uh, okay, one more time. Make sure you take that big breath, drop your jaw. Ah, uh, okay, listen, next note. Now remember, you've gotta keep that jaw dropped the entire time. Even though we're gonna be climbing up this scale, remember, you've gotta keep that jaw locked in place, okay? All right, like this. Oh, big breath with me. Oh, one more time with me. Hey, Louisa. Oh, how are we doing? Keeping that jaw dropped. Now we have a tendency to think that we want to raise our chin as we go up the scale. That is the opposite direction that you want to move your chin. Okay. If you watched yesterday's video, we were doing the, the caveman exercise, right? Oh, Ooh, ah. notice how my my face, my chin, it's not that I'm, I never bury my chin in my chest, okay? What I do more so is I point my chin maybe at the floorboard, okay? It's more of a leaning forward. Oh, try that with me. I want you to move the opposite of the way you think you should, okay? We're gonna go, oh, all right? Hey, give me a wave, say hi to me if you're there. Hey, Sarai, glad you could join us. All right, let's try that together. Oh, did you take your starter breath? Big breath in, breathe in air, exhale voice. Oh, okay, very nice. All right, now we're gonna go the opposite direction, right where we just left off, we left it off at ah, uh, so I want you to do that with me. Big breath, ah, uh, great, one more time. Ah, uh, now we're gonna take that note and we're gonna use it to drive down. Ah, oh, one more time. Ah, oh, join me if you haven't. Ah, oh, notice I'm gliding through tones. Okay, I'm at this note that we're starting in. Ah, oh, that is not uh, a full 100% chest voice. We talked about that yesterday, right? That is not a full chest sound. Okay, because that would be. And that's kind of, that's, that's unpleasant, right? So I'm getting out my vocal chemistry set that we talked about yesterday, and I'm blending in just enough from the head voice range to make it a more pleasant sound. Ah! Remember the larynx learns from hearing, so listen. Ah! Now you try it with me. Ah! Now I'm gonna be quiet so you can do it. It's important for you to hear yourself, okay? To make sure that you're getting it right. Let's try it one more time now that you've heard what you're doing. Ah! One more time. Ah! Okay, we're gonna drive that down. Ah! With me. Ah! Now, if you're still struggling with that, if you're getting stuck, you gotta tell me, stuck. Just type stuck if you're stuck, okay? If you're making it through, then just say okay, all right? So if you're getting stuck, we're gonna do a spoken one. We're gonna go, hey. Nothing loud, just take a breath, hey. Because naturally when we speak, we naturally, our voice is going to aim right for the middle of whatever tone we're speaking in. Hey. Notice I don't go, hey, and my voice gets stuck, okay? It just naturally flows through tones. Ah, all right, we're definitely gonna have some fun today with tones, okay? All right, and we're gonna get physical. So like I said, I hope you have a lot of room around you to be able to move around so that we can do this, all right? So one thing I wanna do is we're just simply gonna go, we were just doing, ah. Now I want you to really, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to focus because this is moving muscles that we cannot see. 
Okay, I can see my hand waving, but if you think about it, how am I really waving my hand? I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I'm think, I don't have to focus on waving my hand for my hand to wave. I just think wave my hand and my hand waves. I don't even have to stop talking in order for my hand to wave, right? It just goes, okay? The same is true, again, with your larynx, your amazing God-designed instrument that is always flawless, okay? And so all you have to do is think what you wanna do, just like with tones, you can say, no way, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous, I can't believe it. And our voice is gonna naturally go to the middle of every tone, okay? So we were going, ah. All right, so notice how that kind of sounds like a, someone who's disappointed, right? Ah, so everybody do that with me. Ah, get that catch breath. Okay, that catch breath should cause your shoulders to move. Ah, everybody with me? Okay, so we're gonna go to the next step. All right, what we're gonna do is, let's see if you can see me. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to turn sideways. You can keep looking at me, but I'm going to turn sideways because I want you to see, I'm going to keep my head in line with my shoulders. I'm not dropping my head like this. Okay. It stays in line with my shoulders. Okay. And I'm just going to, like a little kid who's disappointed, I'm just going to express my disappointment. So I'm going to turn back and face you. Okay. So I'm going to go, oh, okay. Oh, notice how low my voice is dropping. There's something about falling forward that just allows your voice to just go as low as you want it to go. I call this digging it out. Because if I try and sing down there and I don't dig it out, it's gonna sound like this. Ah, ah. It's kind of like that same ah, okay? Ah, you might notice, okay, I want you to try that with me right now. Ah, okay, but I want you to go like this. One more time, oh, and one more time, oh, okay? You gotta let me know if you're doing this. Let me know if it's working for you. So, so tell me if you're hitting the floor, hitting the floor would mean that you kind of got stuck, okay? Or are you making it past it and getting down? So we're gonna try this with this, okay? We're gonna put this with it so that we know just how low can I go, all right? So again, take a big breath, keep your head, don't drop your chin, keep your head in line with your shoulders, and you just let your, first let's do it without the sound, okay? So everybody just sort of, you really got, now don't, sometimes I see my clients and they go like this and they just stay like really stiff, okay? They're like, uh, because they're not sure. You gotta really just kind of drop your body, like you're disappointed. You're totally disappointed, you wanna let the people around you know that you're totally disappointed, you just kind of drop, okay? All right, floor, awesome, yes, awesome. Okay, so you hit the floor. Okay, no, so you hit the floor. All right, so instead of ah, now put it together with the voice, okay? So we're gonna go ah, all right? So let's try that again. Ah. Now this can be a really difficult concept to understand, so I'm just gonna keep doing it, okay? So let me hear from more of you. Let me know if you're, if you're having success or you're hitting the floor, okay? Oh. Okay, let me know if that's changing for you. Oh. Now, obviously the trick is, for those of you who are having success with it and you're not hitting the floor and you're actually reaching down, that's probably my bottom, my bottom note, okay? Oh. That's my bottom note. It's not very pretty, but typically when you sing that low, you're, you're not, it's not gonna be that bad. Okay, I mean, it's not gonna be that long and it's not supposed to be pretty. If you really isolate a really low note that a singer sings, it's actually kind of ugly, but that's what makes it so interesting. It's not always beautiful. If you just put that note by itself, there's so many times we'll isolate a note, a word that a, that a singer sings and you're just like, oh man, that's, that, you know, that, that's kind of ugly, it's kind of funky, but it sounds really good as part of the whole thing. Okay, I wanna make sure that I catch what you guys are saying. Okay, you feel like it's working. Okay, good, but you can do better, good. All right, so if you're still hitting the floor, that's an exercise that you can do after we get off the phone. Okay, ah, uh, and you feel that? Now remember, the other thing you can do is go back to how we were going, ah, oh, because that's easy. We never hit the floor there because it's in the middle of our range. Ah, oh, and it's just a set, it's, you know, imagine you're, you're seeing something really cute. You know, if you're a guy, maybe you don't express yourself that way, but maybe you're kind of mocking the ladies who are at a baby shower and you go, ah, oh, okay? 
That's the feeling. That's that muscle feeling. We got to become aware of that muscle feeling, how it feels for that muscle to go, ah, oh, because that's exactly what we're doing. Notice, ah, oh, do that with me. Ah, oh, one more time. Ah, oh, and now we're going to go back and add it to our little disappointment. We're going to start here instead. Don't start so high. That's another thing. If you start, ah, uh, you, you're not going to get all the way we're trying to get. We're trying to get past the floor. Okay. So, ah, uh, start about there. Ah, uh, got it. Do it again. I actually start a little higher. Ah, uh, ah, uh, one more time. Ah, uh, okay. And then take it as low as you can get it to go. Oh, all right. So play with that. Uh, and next, we're going to go the other direction. Okay. So hold on. Everybody get a drink of water. Okay. And please also let me know. I just realized I've got my AirPods on. I think that the microphone is better, but I'm also wearing earrings. So let me know if the earrings are clicking uh, in the microphone, if that's uh, annoying in any way. Okay, so we're gonna go the other direction and we're gonna go, ah. Oh. We're not singing, we're just making sound. Ah. Oh. Do that with me. Ah. Oh. Starter breath. Ah. Oh. Okay, now, hopefully you're not hitting the ceiling. Ah. Oh. That is not what we're doing. And notice how I naturally pulled my chin up when I did that. That's the wrong direction. I want to drive my chin down as I do that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's going to keep me more uh, in my chest waist range. Actually, we were going a little higher than that. Okay, thank you. Oh, all right. Okay, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Oh, we're going to slow it down. Okay, I want you to listen. I want you to hear your voice move through all these tones. Okay. Oh. All right, let's try that again. Again, notice I'm moving my head forward to the floor. Here's why, because as the sound is actually created, the sound that we're using, because we are contemporary, okay? And we're gonna actually, we're gonna tap into these classical guys in just a moment, okay? I always go like this, because my classical singers and my opera singers, they're on the side of the stage. They're letting us have the stage right now. They're more than welcome to join us if they want to learn contemporary. But for contemporary, when we go up high, because we like to pull our chest voice up as high as it'll go, that sound is created right here. Did you know that? Okay. Did you know that that sound is created right here? Actually, this just reminds me of something I want to tell you guys. Everybody keeps telling me I need to do this. Okay. Uh, I need to remember to ask you guys, anytime that you hear something that you finally understood, you know, you've been a singer for a long time and, and you've just never understood something. Uh, and now it's just clicked because of the way I explained it. Give me that, hit that wow button or give me a, give me a thumbs up or something so that I'll know um, that it's making sense to you. Be sure to share this video with your friends uh, and tag them in it if you think that they would really benefit um, from joining us. Okay. All right. Good. So this sound is being created right here in the back of our head. Okay. And this is why when clients ask me, is, is head voice high and chest voice low? And I say yes and no. And we talked about that yesterday. So if you want a further explanation on that, go back and watch yesterday's video. Uh, it's the first tones and pitches video. Okay. All right. So back to what we're doing. We're going to go, oh, do that with me. Oh, good. Okay. Now, remind you guys, we did our owl. Okay. We always want to get into our owl. Our owl helps us find the right shape for head voice because it's very rounded out out here. It's a very, it just opens everything up. Okay. So I'm going to impersonate my owl and then I want you to do you your owl. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take a big breath. Drop that jaw. This is so important that you have that space between the upper and lower jaw. Really important that you get that space, okay? Ooh -ooh. Ooh -ooh. Hear that? It's not a wolf. It's an owl, all right? So try that with me. Ooh -ooh. Try it with me again. Ooh -ooh. Okay, now... Let me, let me point something out that I, I don't think I've said yet in this, in this series, okay? 
you have to pendulum swing over here we're going to call this exaggeration land this is exaggeration land what you think will be you exaggerating everything i'm asking you to do like way over the top is probably going to bring you right up to where you need to be because singing takes so much more energy than we think that it does singing along no big deal whatever okay you can sing along and and brush brush no, not brush your teeth but brush your hair sweep the kitchen okay but if you are the singer you are leading that song then it takes so much more energy than you realize that it does okay you got to do this for people to hear this okay that's what it takes so every exercise that we do exaggerate it really really push yourself because that's going to bring you right up to the right amount of energy okay all right so we were doing our owl okay if it helps to bring your hands up bring your hand up do that with me okay one more time Type an owl if you uh, if you think you're you're hearing an owl and and then tell me wolf if you think you're still at wolf wolf would be like hoo, hoo. okay it's not a howl we want to try we're trying to get into our head voice listen if you sing contemporary meaning if you sing with the radio okay if you're singing anything other than these guys over here our classical our opera singers we have a very difficult time just naturally going into our head voice. Okay, without any chest voice at all. All right, okay, all right, you'll get there, you'll get there. Okay, so we, we really do. We, we sing contemporary, contemporary, contemporary. We're singing along with the radio and, and we are not, because contemporary singers, the contemporary singers that we're listening to, again, the larynx learns from hearing, they are only singing one word, arahai. They are only singing one word in their head voice. Okay, maybe a short little phrase. And the lyrics says I'm hearing, so we're not hearing a lot of singing in head voice, okay? Versus these guys over here, they're probably listening to what they love as well, and so they're getting a lot more, good job. They're getting a lot more head voice training for their ear, okay? All right, so one more time with our owl. Okay, very nice. Hopefully you get a nice resonance. And um, now that's really still just approaching our head voice. It's not really getting us into that full head voice. I think it's time for a water break. Grab your water if you have it handy. Hey, Laura, glad you could join us. I'm just, I'm off screen, I think, but I'm getting some water. My water is empty already. Okay. All right, so we're going to get a little bit crazy today, okay? Um, we're really going to get physical. I really want to help you guys to see this. So the same way that we were doing to reach our to reach our, our absolute bottom of our range, we really want to dig that out, right? Oh, right? We were doing our dropping exercise. So we're going to do some things that are going to help us get into that higher range as well, okay? All right, now, uh, I think I said in a previous video, we were talking about how, I think it was yesterday, we talked about how even yawning will really help you understand how to get into your head voice because what happens when you yawn, ooh, ooh. if you yawn, put voice to it because that is really helping you to experience what it's like to be up in your head voice range. How all, as I said, everything is exaggerated over here in exaggerated land, right? Ooh, hopefully I'm making you yawn. So yawn with me, but put voice to it. Pay attention to how all the muscles in your neck, in your throat, around your larynx, they're sort of moving out of the way. Ooh, okay. All right. Don't fall asleep on me. All right. So, uh, we are going to really, what I want you to do is I want you to experience, so yesterday I mentioned pitch, I think I forgot to cover this, <laughs> and to go into explanation why I kept going like this and then like this, okay? Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so pitch goes up and down and tone goes wide to narrow, wide to narrow. Okay, so I know you guys will know the answers to this. Um, if they're, they're, they're basically just to make sure we're all on the same page. But I want to show you the difference, okay? So, um, and your answers might not come through quick enough, um, but go ahead and put them up there if you want, okay? So if I go, oh, oh, which note is higher? Oh, oh, okay? Can, uh, hopefully that's coming through. 
Oh, oh. Okay. I think I'm even holding them <laughs> subliminally holding this one higher. Number one is higher, right? Okay, so that's pitch. Okay. Now, which one is higher? Oh, ah, oh, ah. See what I'm doing there? Yes, very good. See what I'm doing there? Oh, ah. Hopefully, you're watching my face. Okay? Because what you're hearing, if you're saying they're the same, okay, they are the same. All right? They're the same. One typically will sound higher than two because it has more head voice in it, which is again where clients get confused, okay? Oh, ah, oh, ah. They're the same note. But two will tend to sound lower because it has more chest voice in it. How does it have more chest voice in it? I'm doing that by going wide. Okay, so. How many of you know, well, it's, <laughs> it, yeah, it's not, it's not flat. It's actually wide. Um, maybe it was flat. I don't know, but no, it wasn't flat. It was wider. Okay. Oh, ah. Okay. So what's happening is it has more chest voice in it, which gives it that contemporary sound. Okay. Hey, James, welcome. All right. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to go. Um, you're going to follow me, okay? So everybody put your hands like this, okay? And we're going to go, ah. So remember glocking from the first day? So it's not, ha, ah, there's no H at the beginning. You don't exhale at the beginning. Ha, ah, it's, ah, from that closed throat to an open throat. So say, ah. Remember, glocking is, ah. Ah. With me? Hopefully that's in a good range since I've got girls and guys on, okay? Ah! All right, I want you to pick a note that's slightly challenging for you, okay? Because that'll, that'll put us where we need to be, okay? There. Next, we're going to go, oh! You see what I did there? Okay, watch me. Oh! I made room in the back. I came forward a little bit. Oh! Okay? So watch. That's where we started. Ah! And then we went. Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah, with me. Ah, oh. Now, for some of you, you may be hearing. And it just gets very small. Maybe your voice disappears altogether. I've definitely had clients experience that. Why? Let me tell you why. How many of you remember the mullet haircut? Remember what a mullet is? Okay. And what do they say about a mullet? They say, um, business in the front, party in the back. Right? Why? Because... Business in the front means the hair is so nice and trim that from the front it looks very professional. But in the back, they have this, it's not even a ponytail, right? It's like they have this one little section, tiny little section of hair that's growing down. And so that's the party in the back, right? Okay, so we're going to take that concept and we're going to turn it around, okay? Because the party's in the front and the business is in the back, all right? What we're talking about is the back of your jaw. Your jaw is always where? It's always locked where? Aw, oh, open. Always, I don't care what you're singing. Ah, oh, it's always open. Okay, so whether it's ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh, the jaw is always open. Okay. The difference is because we are contemporary singers, the mouth is wide. We sing wide out here in the south. You guys should love that. Everything should be wide for contemporary songs. Okay, so. What if I sing, um, uh, shoot, where is my, I lost my place on my notes. <clears throat> uh, if I'm singing something and I sing, um, uh, oh, how I love you, right? That's terrible. I know that was on purpose. Oh, how I love you. Okay. That's because what I'm doing is I'm bringing my chest voice up high, but I'm not taking out my vocal chemistry set and blending anything into it. Okay. 
So I go, oh, well, gosh, you know what? I guess it's too high. I guess I'm going to have to sing it in my head voice. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. Well, that might sound lovely and fine, but it's not the sound for the, for the song. It's not the right sound. So instead, I stay narrow in the back. Oh, how I love you. But I go wide with my face. Oh, how I love you. Oh, how I love you. See what I'm doing there? It keeps my voice right up front, okay? So I'm able to keep nice, a nice strong presence, but I'm also blending it out to make it prettier, okay? But I don't want it too pretty. Some, not all songs are meant to be pretty. A lot of times we just default to a pretty tone, and that's not what we're trying to do. Okay? All right, so we're gonna play with this a little bit more. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to go, ah, uh, let's see, ah, uh, we'll start there. Ah, uh, hey Robin, ah. Uh, now, I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing. Um, what, I'm do what I'm doing is I want you to take all of your weight. Now, I don't want you to balance on one leg, but I do want you to put your weight over one foot uh, instead, uh, and, and take the other one and don't lift it off the ground. I want you to put that other foot perpendicular to the, your body, okay? So take your foot and put it out for balance and put all of your weight. So what I want you to do, I want you to be like an ironing board from your, from your heel up to your head, okay? So like this, all right? So, and I want you to lean on that front foot, put all of your weight on that front foot as you go, Oh, okay, just trust me, try it with me, let's try that. Oh, do you find it easier to do this way or does it sound the same as it normally does? Okay, let me know, just say easier or same, all right? So again, push your weight over that front foot and just obviously go as high as you can go. I know we've got some great guys on here, okay? Oh. Now, you may have always thought when you're watching your favorite performers sing that they're doing all this stuff with their arms and with their legs and they're doing all this crazy stuff and that they're doing that as, a, I think that as just a casual observer, we just sort of assume without thinking about it that they're doing that uh, for our visual entertainment, okay? But really, good, awesome. Really, it's not for our visual entertainment entirely. It's not only for our visual entertainment. It really is how it helps them get out the note, okay? Oh, okay, now, if you're doing it the way I'm doing it, oh, keep everything the same. Don't change anything except one thing. I want you to change your face, okay? So remember, make sure you keep this the same, okay? All right, James, it'll come to you, okay? Uh, James, when you try it, don't go up as high as I'm going because it's going to leave you behind, okay? So, um, I want this time what I want you to do is I want you to go wide, okay? So instead of oh, you're gonna go oh, okay? Oh, and actually we'll probably stop a little bit, a little bit lower. Oh, all right, try that with me. Oh, notice the difference in the tone, and all I'm doing is going wide with my face. Make sure you do not surrender the jaw and let it come up. Ah. Okay, if you're getting that sound, that's what's happening. If your voice disappears, ah. Okay, you, you surrendered that jaw, all right? You gotta keep that jaw down and make sure you're taking that starter breath. We always gotta take that starter breath. Ah. Okay, all right, now, we're gonna really try and get into that head voice. Now, head voice, pure, pure, straight up head voice, okay, is right here. It resonates right here. Time for a water break, get some water. I know I need some. There it is, all right, just trying to see what time it is. Okay, so pure head voice sometimes even takes me a minute, okay? So I want you to go into your your classical stance. So this is when we're gonna get these guys, they're gonna come back on the stage with us, okay? I, I And I'm very serious. Remember I talked about exaggeration land. This is where you really have to exaggerate, okay? 
So if you have to put one foot in front of the other, I want you to think, I want you to go as narrow, as skinny as you can go, as tall as you can go. I want your eyebrows up, okay? And even go into your, your our classical choir stance, okay? All right, and we're gonna go. Okay, pick your own note. If it's okay, I still I don't know how well this is coming through. I still have I can hear traces of chest voice in there. It takes me a minute to get it to resonate in between my in between our eyebrows, okay? You should feel it here. Remember yesterday, I think it was yesterday, we put our hand on our chest and we said, ho, oh. do that with me, ho, oh. okay? You feel that resonate on your, on your hand? Put your hand on your forehead, same hand, do it again, ho. Oh. Now you shouldn't feel anything on your hand when your hand is up here because you're creating that sound right here in your chest. Okay, so now, one more time here. Oh. That's the feeling that you wanna feel right here in between your eyebrows when you get that head voice, okay? The other thing is I notice that sometimes people's nostrils will flare as they really get that head voice, okay? So go back into your, your classical stance, one foot in front of the other, think very tall, very narrow, you're being raised by a string, raise your eyebrows, okay? me we'll sing different notes okay now pick one of those two notes hopefully they're not too high for you let me know if like well yeah they're still too high okay uh, talking to the guys all right all right so next what we want to do is we want to do that note we're gonna take the second note actually okay and we're gonna go Back to this, you're gonna glock it. Ah! Glocking is ah, so it's not ha. Ah, Cause see how my voice just totally disappears when I put an H in front of it. Ah, there is no way to do that note loud. Ah! Okay, and we're gonna take it and take it very narrow. And I want you to feel the, the sound travel from the back of your head. We're gonna put this all together, okay? So from the back of your head all the way out the front of your face through your eyebrows, okay? Okay, try that with me. Go as slow as you need to. Now, why are we doing that? Because I want you to experience that you have full control over whatever tone whether it's wide or narrow, that you want to tap into to create that perfect moment, moment by moment throughout your song, okay? Now, uh, you might be thinking, yeah, but the higher I go, I'm just gonna go into head voice, okay? Maybe not, okay? As I've said before, maybe it's this note, but maybe the phrase, maybe the moment is, Okay, maybe it's the same note, but it's a nice big song, so you wanna go, yeah! Okay, all I'm doing is, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, okay? So that's why we're doing this. All right, good. So, let's see, I think, let's see, got Lean Barnes and Spy, Ironing Board Back, Kids Expression, that's our disappointment, oh. Remember to practice that, okay? So for those of you who said that you hit the floor, oh, don't settle for the floor. Get past the floor. So practice it standing up, oh, and then, oh, just let that chest fall forward, oh, and get that sound, okay? And then your owl helps you get into that head voice. Ooh, ooh. Take advantage of your yawns. Ooh. Okay, I think that we got to everything. Very nice. Okay, so please remember to share the video, like the video, tag your friends in it if you think they would benefit from it. Uh, these videos started last Friday, so you can go back and watch. So this would be the fourth uh, of what was going to be six videos. You're welcome. 
and um, I was gonna say, oh, and please join me tomorrow and Friday. So we've got two more, Thursday and Friday. Please message me, let me know um, if this is helping, and then also let me know, what do you, what do you wanna work on? What do you wanna work on? I mean, uh, some of you, my, my clients know that we take songs and we will reverse engineer a really complicated um, part of a song, you know, maybe some crazy ad lib that the singer is doing. If you have something like that, send me the name of the song, tell me the part of the song you wanna work on and I'll show you guys how to reverse engineer. We can get more into that recite for rehearsal as well. Just ways to be able to tackle difficult places in songs. Um, one thing I wanna make sure that I also say to you is that it is typically, I hope that what you're realizing is that it is not your ability and I wish I would have said this every time but please hear me when I say it is not your ability that's the problem okay it's your approach you are fully capable of singing just about any song that you want to sing if you have the right approach okay and so that's what we're doing thanks again for joining me I am voice